There are basically two types of plugins, but to install, uninstall, and change their settings, you have to first click here and then either go to core plugins or community plugins. Let's start with the core plugins. These are the ones that are created by the Obsidian team. And as you can see here, some of them are on and some of them are off. The ones that are on will have their settings here on this uh, sidebar. So these are the core plugins that are on. For example, if you take a look here at backlinks, here's backlinks. Let's turn another one on here, for example, the web viewer. And now we have here the web viewer. We can click here and change its settings. And of course, you can go back to the core plugins and turn it off if you don't want to use it anymore. I'll keep this one on. Now let's go to the community plugins. These are the ones created by the community. So the first thing you need to do the first time you start using them is turn on community plugins. And now we can browse and look for plugins. For example, let's look for tasks. As you can see, there are many results with the word tasks. And you can click in any one of them and take a look to make sure if that's the one you are looking for. Uh, I know the one I'm looking for is this one, so I'm gonna click here. Here it is. Then you have to install the plugin. And after installing the plugin, you have to enable that plugin. Now, if we go back, let's go all the way back. I'm gonna close this here, close this, and start all over. If I click here and go to the community plugins, you see that that plugin is now listed here. And there is another uh, item here in this sidebar, which ha also has the community plugin. So I can click here to go to the plugin settings and change the settings. Uh, most plugins have settings, you can tweak them, or you can click here, community plugins, and click here to go to the settings, different path, same place. But if you want, uh, to change other settings. For example, I want to switch this off for a moment. I, I don't want the plugin to be uh, on. I can switch it off. You still have the plugin installed, but it's not working. You can delete the plugin, you can donate, and you can change some of the hotkeys. There's another video uh, in the channel where I explain the hotkey, so I'm not talking about this today, but these are the settings that you have access. Not all the plugins have hotkeys, not all the plugins have the donate button, but I guess all of them ha will have the delete and the ones with settings will have the settings, and of course you can turn off any of the plugins. So let's install another one, for example, homepage. Enable, and if we go back, now we have two here and two here. Again, settings, uh, hotkeys, donate, delete, and uh, switch off for a moment or for as long as you wish. If this was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, and for more quick Obsidian how-tos, you can check this playlist. Thanks for watching, see you soon.